So you told us a little bit about where you come from. Mm -hmm. You told us a little bit about what you've been doing these past few years mm -hmm. at EA <clears throat> um, and your experiences here at Full Sail. I want to project out to, you know, all these guys would mm -hmm. like to have a nice job too someday. Mm -hmm. So how did you go about, upon graduation, how did you go about pursuing your career mm -hmm. and your first jobs and, and how did that lead to EA as well? Mm. So when I graduated, I graduated May of 2009 and at the time, there's a few people from church or somewhere that basically everything was networking. Just boil it down, everything was networking. That's who you know, right? And uh, somehow I, through somebody at church, you know, passed me along to a couple people. And uh, I met a gentleman who was currently serving at Vista Community Church. I'm not sure if he's still there today. Um, and through him, I he was a Campus Crusade for Christ employee or crew, and uh, that's how I made my connection to crew. So that was your first job out of college? Yeah, so that was like August is when, so it kind of took about three months to make all those connections. And what was the job? Uh, so they were working on a anime project about the crucifixion of Christ, which is still up on YouTube, you guys can see that. Um, What's it called? It came out from Studio 4C, so they hired a reputable anime company to produce it. Um, my Last Day? Yes, yeah, it was that one. Mm -hmm. And at the time they had some funds left over to do some R&D, so I started like an internship for four weeks that was paid. And I was like, at that point, hey, I'll take, take a paycheck. And I get to do computer animation related stuff, so that was great. Um, basically, I ended up finding out what I was creating was a demonstration that they were taking to the executives of the board there and they kind of pitched the idea of uh, a web episode project called Archivo Ciro which was used for a ministry in Spain and they basically just proved out hey we can do this in-house by working through me. I had to, I basically assume a role of where I was a rigger and a pipeline uh, TD kind of all at the same time. Uh, it wasn't video game based, it was pre-rendered. Um, so I had to write like an animation import export tool. I had to write uh, some tools to help us speed up renders and set up scenes because setting up sets and stuff takes a long time. Um, uh, we, used, we used a pre pre-built rig system called uh, Setup Machine by Anzovin uh, Studios. And the Setup Machine rig was, uh, it was pretty simple. You kind of place widgets within your character, it builds the rig, and then it's up to you to do the, the deformation, the skinning. Um, and uh, we also used the Face Machine rig, which came from them to help do facial animation. Um, Knowing what I know now, I think there's improvements that could be built upon those, but at the time it worked for our purposes and helped you know, keep production costs down. Can come back and do some more episodes for us? Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. Sweet. It transitioned once they went to the board and the board pretty much approved the continuation of it. After that four weeks, they ended up hiring me for full time. Sweet. And I was basically a, a crew employee at that point uh, versus just an intern. Mm -hmm. And that project for me went until 2011, fall of 2011. Okay. So I was there for two years mm -hmm. wor working on it. Yep. Did you learn any Spanish during the process? I did not. Oh, but I had a friend of mine who I worked with at Full Sail, because networking is important. And we hired him as our character modeler. So he was bilingual, and he actually helped us interpret the script and uh, be able to convey to our animator that we hired to like certain phenome or phonemes and like how to shape them out for certain Fantastic. words and stuff. Yeah. Cool. Yep. Uh, just a quick little mm -hmm. uh, fun factoid too. I'm taking yeah, yeah. I'm taking that IP now. I'm turning that into a board game that people it's a cooperative storytelling, like choose your own adventure board oh, game. Nice. So using a lot of the art and some of the similar storyline and things like that. Do, you should do 3D prints of the figures. Uh, yeah, we'll get together on yeah. that one later. Fantastic.